Hello, caring and loving fans of elephants. Today, our wildlife officers are launching an operation for a lone elephant in the herd. Well, you can see our story later. Our wildlife officials are already ready to treat the elephant. In this case, the area where the elephant has fallen should be widened and treatment should be started. In this treatment, the elephant attaches a cannula to the surface of the elephant's ear and injects the medicine. The elephant is the largest living land animal characterized by its long trunk, columnar legs, and huge head with temporal glands and wide flat ears. Luckily, they come with a built-in solution, big floppy ears. Thousands of blood vessels make up the animal's ears. That's why we connect the cannula to the surface of the elephant's ear. These vessels are thin and close to the skin. They allow the excess body heat to escape the elephant's body and regulate their body temperature. When people think of elephants, they often immediately think of long trunks and massive floppy ears a la Dumbo. But while you might assume that bigger ears automatically means extra sensitive hearing, that's not always the case. Elephant ears, elephant ears are so large for a different reason than many people guess. The large ears act as an air conditioner.
Elephants are huge animals weighing between 5,000 to 13,000 pounds, so it takes a lot to keep them cool, which is where their big ears come into play. Elephants have large ears because they serve as one of the ways elephants cool themselves down. You might see elephants flapping their ears, and when they do this, they're actually using them as large fans, which helps to cool them down in a few ways. It helps to promote blood circulation to the ears. Well, again, we focus on our mission. It is extremely important to tame an elephant when treating it. Here, the elephant is fed banana stalks to divert his attention. The Sri Lankan elephant, Elephas maximus maximus, is one of three recognized subspecies of the Asian elephant and native to Sri Lanka. Since 1986, Elephas maximus has been listed as endangered by the IUCN as the population has declined by at least 50% over the last three generations, estimated to be 60 to 75 years. The species is primarily threatened by habitat loss, degradation, and fragmentation. Elephas maximus maximus is a type of subspecies of the Asian elephant, first described by Carl Linnaeus under the binomial Elephas maximus in 1758. The Sri Lankan elephant population is now largely restricted to the dry zone in the northeast and southeast of Sri Lanka. Elephants are present in Udawalawe National Park, Yala National Park, Lunagambahara National Park, Wilpatu National Park, and Miniria National Park, but also live outside protected areas. It is estimated that Sri Lanka has the highest density of elephants in Asia. Human-elephant conflict is increasing due to conversion of elephant habitat to settlements and permanent cultivation. Elephants are classified as mega herbivores and consume up to 150 kilograms, 330 pounds, of plant matter per day. As generalists, they feed on a wide variety of food plants. In Sri Lanka's northwestern region, feeding behavior of elephants was observed during the period of January 1998 to December 1999. The elephants fed on a total of 116 plant species belonging to 35 families, including 27 species of cultivated plants. More than half of the plants were non-tree species, i.e. shrub, herb, grass, or climbers. More than 25% of the plant species belong to the family Leguminosa, and 19% of the plant species belong to the family of true grasses. Thank <laughs> you. 
The presence of cultivated plants in dung does not result solely due to raiding of crops, as it was observed that elephants feed on leftover crop plants in Phyllochanus. Juvenile elephants tend to feed predominantly on grass species. Food resources are abundant in regenerating forests, but at low density in mature forests. Traditional slash and burn agriculture creates an optimum habitat for elephants through promoting successional vegetation. Females and calves generally form small, loosely associated social groups without the hierarchical tier structure exhibited by African savanna elephants. However, at some locations, such as Myneria National Park, hundreds of individuals aggregate during the dry season, suggesting that grouping behavior is flexible and depends on season and place. Like all Asian elephants, the Sri Lankan subspecies communicates using visual, acoustic, and chemical signals. At least 14 different vocal and acoustic signals have been described, which include some low-frequency calls that contain infrasonic frequencies. He is now being treated with an injection. The treated in cannula should be removed. At the end of the treatment, the elephant is given water to drink. Well, now you see, we have completed the treatment of the elephant. So let's meet with another mission, guys. Thank you. 
Ito na naman yan ini. Ayan. 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 Ayan.